but you know, <laughs> this, with the sad stature of that Shivana it is, you, you've got to get past that jab and figure out a way to get past the jab. But once you do get past the jab, there's a big backhand waiting. So, you know, you've got to be smart on how you, how you close that distance down. Yeah, Marshall levels above her in the amateurs, no question about that. And you can see that range, the distance that she has. Great right hand and the power that she possesses, Matt. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So she, oh, she's the biggest puncher in women's boxing. She's just uh, having a look here, throwing a few feints, trying to see what way Herbert's going to react. Larissa was telling us at the way in that Penke's difficult to get hold of straight away. But she uh, knows plenty of tricks as she puts a fast burst together. Look at herself to me. Yeah, Savannah's got to give her the respect. She is the, you know, current European champion, former world champion as well, so she's she has ability. And nothing to lose, ready to tear up the script. Been waiting for this for a year. One of her team got COVID and it was postponed from last April. It was pushed back from March this year. So third time lucky, right hand. Could she have a bit of speed? Femke Herman's here as Marshall just takes her time and has a good look. Yeah, she, this is just a feel out right for the staff, to be honest. You know, two minutes go so quick. <laughs> but she was just feeling it out, seeing what reaction she gets. they have struck up over the last four years Savannah Marshall who had confidence two. issues she wasn't sure where her boxing career amateur and pro were going but the uh, union with Peter Fury has been fabulous and she seems like a different person not just a different fighter she starts to really Push Femke Herman's back, who switches south for She wants to apply the pressure here, nice and early. Well, we hear Peter say in the corner that you might have missed that. I break that. You know, you, now you've found your range. Now go, go step behind it and add your, add your backhand to it, and she'll she'll come forward and she knows what she's going to do. She knows how she's going to react, and she'll just yeah. I think she'll put a bit more power behind the shots that she puts out now. It's light on her feet still, Femke Herman's. Getting the jab home. And the right good, hand as yeah. well. Good right hand there. Good hand speed. Good accuracy from her. Good right hand though from Marshall. Big shot. Meteor looking shot from Savannah Marshall. This is the round that she dealt with Lolita Mazea. She has a first round knockout. Four second round knockouts and two third round KOs on the slate. That's incredible. Herbert is fast with that right hand counter. So, you know. Savannah with the left hand low, she's got to watch out for that right hand counter from Hermans. Not overawed in any way here, FK Hermans. Switching it up. Just trying to be a moving target. Yeah, you can see Sav switching south for just trying loads of different. Marshall. The game switches herself. Hermans gets a combination in. Fast right hand counter from Hermans. She landed a couple of those in that round, so Savannah can't afford to switch off. New team with Hermans and Morris Boothby and Luigi Milo. Peter and Kerry Kays with Savannah. Yes. 
That when Savannah Marshall had a big chance against Hannah Rankin. Seconds out. Those round first couple three. of rounds, and then Peter seemed to sort of coax her through those early minutes, and she just grew in confidence, didn't she? And delivered what was one of the great performances of that year. Yeah, she really stepped up to the plate with that performance. Hannah Rankin behind us tonight, working for radio. And you're targeting her, Tasha. <laughs> small world, this. It is, it's a small boxing world, a boxing fraternity. Great fights to be made. But this one, this WBO middleweight title defense, the third one for Savannah Marshall. In the red and white. And the black, white and gold of Kepke Hermans from Belgium. Who's really starting to open up, but Marshall does hit so hard and Hermans is not afraid at all. No, she's not overawed, she's quick, she fires back with the counters every time. Really going for this here, Femke Hermans. You know, she's European champion, she's a proud champion, she's a former world champion as well, so she's not overawed at all, she's quick firing back with these counters. She's been very confident all week, Femke Hermans. Can be a bit flat-footed, and if she's open to one of those Big bombs from Marshall. So, so I've just not given her any space. She turned South Fork over past the Orthodox just to close the space down and, and I'm not giving her a second like she's just done there. So... Body shot from Marshall. He's trying to slow the 32 year old down, a couple of years younger. Hartley Pools, Savannah Marshall. She's just comfortable in wherever she throws, whether that's south or orthodox. She never had an amateur, used to switch at all. But now you can just see where, whichever foot she, she lands on, oh, whichever way shot. she's standing, do it shot over the top. What's the balance of it? Femke Herman. Oh, 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 She's been tended to by the medical team. Clarissa talking to her trainer with her trainer there. And Savannah waits while her fans celebrate. Pepke is a middleweight champion. What an extraordinary vein of form she's in. Ladies and gentlemen, at the very last second of round number three, this contest came to a halt in favor of your winner by knockout and still your WBO middleweight champion of the world, Savannah. The silent assassin is silencing anyone that doubted her. A brilliant amateur. And there's the Olympic gold and bronze medalist.